Hi everyone, welcome to third part of how to make Jarvis in WPF application. Okay, we're gonna start from this uh, uh, from the last part that uh, in the second part that we talked about uh, how and this e dot result is working okay let me tell you again we we are loading the grammar for a speech engine okay with the choice text is equal new choice and then a string line file dot read environment directory concatenate uh, commands dot txt okay this is reading all the text uh, commands okay uh, from uh, with the file uh, with the system dot file <coughs> class okay and this function we are using read all commands okay then environment dot current directory this is for our current directory we located our command dot txt in current directory okay environment dot current directory and then we can coordinate it with the our uh, text file okay command.txt file then we are going to add this to the choice okay this line uh, all the commands which is stored in the line okay then we are going to add to the choice text dot add text is our choice uh, the name of variable local variable name of our choice text dot add lines line is our string that has uh, comma, ca all the commands on the commands.txt file then we are using uh, grammar word list is local variable of my grammar is equal new grammar then new grammar builder will make uh, add will add all the comma uh, uh, grammar will build all the grammar through the choice okay this is our choice which has all the commands on our txt file and then we are going to add a text uh, text is our choice okay then speech uh, recognition engine will load the grammar from the word list this grammar that we built is the new grammar then grammar builder is equal choice and then it will load all the grammar through the word list okay then if something is wrong here then we will be going to catch exceptions okay okay now e dot result is what is e dot result because when a speech engine is loading the grammar okay all the grammar then our commands uh, choice is is equal our commands okay then it will load to the grammar okay when we our uh, when we speak through the microphone for example when we are saying uh, any grammar hello Jarvis is uh, our grammar okay then it will execute okay to e dot result event handler we have made for a speech recognition recognized when it's recognized hello Jarvis then we are using a switch statement okay to the uh, our result if the result is equal hello Jarvis then uh, this ex uh, a statement will execute this statement will execute and or here whatever you have in your mind okay some statement okay like this now I'm going to use over here synthesizer to re to get reply okay I'm going to use my Jarvis synthesizer variable name Jarvis and then speak async is async uh, uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, async and then I I'm going to pass the string I'm going to pass the string hello hello sir how are you okay hello sir how are you okay now we successfully add one uh, first command and then we have to add this command to our text file also command.txt file this because it will load uh, to a speech engine it will load the grammar to a speech engine if you don't add this uh, over here then it will not work okay 
because there's the command uh, the grammar is empty you have to f uh, to pass the gra uh, to also to add the grammar to the your command text file okay now it's hello Jarvis now then save it okay okay now we are going to uh, test this out okay I'm going to start debugging hello Jarvis hello sir how are you hello no. sir how are you hello sir how are you now you can see it's working fine now the progress bar is not working because we we have to fear to ha uh, give a value okay now see progress bar is not working for to give a value uh, to progress bar we, we are going to set the value of progress bar to audio level is equal e dot audio level okay like this now after that uh, we are going to debug again hello Jarvis hello sir now you, are you now you can see hello, the sir. the pro you? progress bar is hello, wor mm, working you? also hello sir how are you hello sir how are you now the progress bar is working fine now we have another thing about uh, speak complete for this uh, for the moment I am I am going to put this if the Jarvis dot state is equal equal synthesizer dot speaking Jarvis will cancel all okay Jarvis speak uh, speak async cancel all okay now we done with this okay now we are going to start uh, to make a new commands okay for this we are going to do like this colon and then break I'm going to uh, open Google open Google then I'm using system dot uh, system system dot di diagnostics system dot diagnostics dot process process dot start with system dot diagnostics you can open uh, exe files you can open e exe files also you can open I'm going to give a link over here now www.google.com okay now I'm I'm going to make another also another command I will I'm going to open Facebook okay over here I'm going to change the URL to Facebook okay now be careful whenever you want to add a new commands you have to also give this command uh, this give uh, this uh, give this grammar to your text file also command.txt file it will load it will load to uh, our spe uh, speech recognition engine grammar okay okay now I'm going to uh, open the text uh, commands file then I'm going to paste it open Google and then open Facebook <laughs> 